every once in a while I get involved in a dirt moving project that requires just a little bit more than my garden tractor and pull type grader box. No, more than my compact tractor and three point box. Sometimes even more than my backhoe. <laughs> I have no idea how to run this thing. Dig drive, We're here with the boss man at G&K Concepts, and we're, uh, we're doing a little addition. What are you doing, Greg? We need more s storage space. We're out of room to store our trailers, equipment. Just, we just need room. I hate stuff sitting outside, Me so too. we just need more storage. We're just building a basic old pole barn, nothing fancy. How big is the barn? 60 by 96. Okay. 60. We're going to concrete it once we get it put up. Oh, you are? Oh, yeah. Sweet. You know, it's only going to cost more later, so we're just going to get it done. Cool. So the building's going to go out here, kind of where the dozer's sitting. So we got to strip the topsoil off to get ready for it. We're going to haul in fill dirt tomorrow to build it up some heavy clay so we can pack it in because we need to build up what we tear out and then some so we can get water to shed away from the building. We got to measure it off the other buildings. Get it square. So we're going to perfectly square because I'm super anal about how stuff looks. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to mess with dirt going out and dirt coming in. I like it clean and orderly. We'll try to keep it clean and orderly. So we so got a meal on the job with dig drive DIY. Now Greg's cousin, Adam of Dozer Works, since he's his cousin, it made sense that he get involved on this project. So we got some heavy iron here. We're not going to mess around with garden tractors. I've never ran a dozer this big and Greg here, he can drive anything. So we're going to see if we can run this dozer and peel off the sod. It, it could get interesting. Let's get this laid out though. Good? Yeah. We're going to have to take out two trees. Okay, we got the corners marked out. We got the trees moved. We think we know where the building's going to be. Now comes the fun part. We got to start that dozer and figure out how to run it. <laughs> Pretty good. I think you want to start over there, get it worked down to what you want, and then bring it all this way and out. So you don't want to bring sod across what you got cut out. You'll just keep filling it in and mixing all the sod in with the bare dirt. I think. Well, since this is Greg's project and his cousin's bulldozer, it was only fitting that he have the first crack at running this 2014 John Deere 750K. When something like this is sitting on your property with the keys in it and there's dirt to be moved, well, let's just say we were both chomping at the bit to start playing with it. Greg has run farm machinery all of his life and that provides some very good fundamentals for operating heavy equipment. He's operated a dozer before in the past too, but has never got a chance to spend a lot of time on one. I'll tell you what, I'm no dozer operator. I'll let you hack at it. Many years ago, I learned that driving a tractor in any capacity cannot prepare you for operating a bulldozer. In my opinion, it is one of the hardest pieces of heavy equipment to become proficient at running, especially when the theory of operating it is seemingly so simple. Anyone can dig and push dirt in a pile pretty quickly, but to really finish grade and shape a work site takes hundreds of hours of experience. I give Adam a lot of credit. This takes a lot of skill. I can run any farm equipment 
equipment, but this is different than farm equipment, so I give you a lot of credit for running dozer. It takes a lot of skill. I'm not very good at it. Well, me either, but we're, uh, especially on a brand new machine that you don't, under, you've don't you never been on before. But This machine's a hoss. It's a hog. This is a nice gonna, machine. This can hog some dirt. I have to get used to angling the blade with a button. That is way different. So I'm going to run it a little bit more here. This dozer has a six-way blade, but the functionality of it is a little bit different than anything I've been on before, in that the blade angle left and right is with a button on the blade control lever, whereas the older style machines, you had to use a twisting motion on the lever to angle the blade. Basically, you just move the joystick in the same directions that you wanted the blade to move. So it was very intuitive, and it took me a while to get onto that push button. I worked as a heavy equipment operator for the first 10 years of my career right out of high school. We had a little John Deere 450G dozer that was direct drive and hand lever steer. I got to a point where I was pretty comfortable running a dozer, but I was never as good as some of my close friends that are local dozer operators in this area, like Adam, the owner of this dozer. The best dozer operators can jump on a strange machine and make good use of it in short order, but for someone as rusty as me, it would take several hours to start feeling comfortable on something like this. It would take much longer to be proficient. Now, if I could jump back on a 450G, well, maybe that would be a different story. I don't know, I'd like to try it. But still, it's a ton of fun to get on something like this and run a new piece of equipment, especially when you have the opportunity to do a job like this one where you really can't screw anything up. I got to experience what running this machine was all about but I knew that my time was limited. On the next day, Connor of Dozer Works would be joining us to run the dozer and I'd be finding something else to help with. good enough for who it's for. Tomorrow we're going to start building up the pad and packing it in. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Well, I'm back first thing the next morning. And guess what? Greg got to looking at it last night. He decided the building wasn't big enough. We're going to go another 24 feet to the north. So I got to try to get that stripped out before they show up with clay fill dirt. We got a lot to do today. I'm going to run just a few more minutes while Connor unloads the uh, six foot roller. Then I get to drive a dump truck. Now we're going to let the real operator operate. <laughs> the big dog, we'll see how it works. I got two hours of experience on this. Let's see what I got. Uh, a couple days. <laughs> this your first day, Connor? <laughs> Connor's much faster. Hey, I think Connor's right. I think I'm gonna deck it once the pads go, I wanna put 53s on top of it so you aren't dealing with mud. Today, like since we got Bailey trucks, we'll turn some loads of 53s. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> I don't know, because the days are short. When I pushed the topsoil off, we weren't quite sure what we were going to do with it, and we weren't sure about the upcoming weather either, so I just piled it up and shaped it into a mound. In case it rained, the water would run off. But after Connor arrived and we shot grade and established a good plan, we knew we could use the topsoil around the perimeter of the building to get some nice drainage slope away from the building and back onto the field. So between loads, you can see Connor leveling out that mound that I had so carefully piled up and shaped. I guess I'm going to drive a dump truck now. Yeah. Yeah, there's a 
pedals. taking turns driving now. It's so much fun we gotta share. We need another truck. They probably would have given us another truck. Should have got your Yeah we should be holding my truck. Where's your little dude? Two bucket bowls of that thing be full. I could be hauling with the big boys. I should go load it just to see the bucket in the in the bed. <laughs> Two scoops that thing would be full. This is Adam's 210G. So we're just digging a borrow hole here. This is a borrow hole so we can come up with good clay dirt to fill up Greg's building pad. This is actually Greg's cousin's property, so we were able to get some dirt here and load it out.
means it's time to go. get some stone on it, 50 threes, and they don't look nice. I don't know how many load of stones it's going to take. There's five trucks running on this right now, so I'll be the fifth load. I estimated it to take eight to ten. I have no idea. I got 53s, Dozer Works, truck one. All right, it should be printed out for you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we'll head back and get this dump. Hope they don't expect me to spread it. Pad is prepped, so they left a dirt strip around the outside so they can dig, so they can bore the holes in for the post frame construction. The holes are going to be right about right about here, uh, maybe about here. 
they'll bore those holes in in the dirt and not disturb the stones. And then once the posts are all set and everything looks good, then he can use the stone. He's got a little bit of extra stone stacked up in the middle. He'll push that out to the edges a little bit. And then it gets concrete on top of the stones. Like it's a little thick down here. Really waxy clay. It's really good stuff for building. Well, that's as far as we're going to take it for today. We got the pad built. What do we think? About 40 to 45 loads of dirt is what we think. And we had a, and we had nine loads of stone. Stupid mic cable got me on this one. But basically what Greg is talking about is how he can't stand mud on a job site and how much he'd like to keep this area clean as we work and as the building goes up. And I couldn't agree more. I like no mud in the stones. But we had a lot of fun getting to work with Dozer Works crew on this building pad. Connor did a great job grading it off and we think it looks terrific and it's more than ready for the next phase of the build. I look forward to helping out some more on this building project as it progresses so let me know if you're interested in seeing any more of this project. But until then I want to thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure to say hi to me or Greg or any of the Dozerworks crew in the comments below and if I'm lucky I will see you in the next one. Take care. Mouse got in my laser box, chewed up the foam in there. Yeah.